So hey, how's it going? So today, the thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about your idea of who and their problem. If you happen to be catching this video live, do me a favor, hit pound live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you happen, happen to be catching this via the replay, do me a favor, hit pound replay and let me know where you are tuning in from. If you want a deeper dive and you would like to take advantage of a free marketing optimization call, you can go to VladimirDonis.com. What we'll do is we'll identify the one thing that you need to do to optimize your marketing process. Um, at the end of the day, marketing is about just getting a few things right, dialing in, and when you dial in and you do those few things correctly, then you will have an overall success as it relates to your marketing. And based on some of those few things, two of those things is having a clear understanding of who it is that you want to serve and basically understanding what their problem is. Um, based on my background being in higher education and based on me having a background in higher education, I've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of different um, you know, college students. Um, as someone who worked in financial aid, I had so many different conversations. And what would happen is that we would start a conversation about financial aid. I would present someone their financial aid award package. And then what would happen is that they would proceed to start to ask me questions about, you know, career, about academic advising. And a lot of the times I would say, hey, you know what, that's not my area of expertise because uh, that's not my area of expertise. You should go speak to someone who's in career advising and or in academic advising. And essentially what the majority of those individuals were trying to determine is they were trying to determine, okay, what degree do I, uh, should I complete? Because, you know, I've, I just completed a year and or two years in general education classes. How do I decide what is the right program for me? I have multiple different interests. Not only do I have multiple different interests, I have a couple of different things that I potentially want to be able to do. So although, because it wasn't my area of expertise, I couldn't necessarily guide those individuals. But if I had to go back and have a conversation, you know, with someone that's in that stage, one of the first things I would tell them is, okay, who do you want to work for? And then what problem do you want to go ahead and solve for that employer? Because I believe that if they can answer those two questions, then it's going to allow them to be just that much more prepared. I'm gonna just use just a basic example, right? If I wanna go work for say Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is a chicken sandwich company, that company has certain core beliefs and that company has certain principles and within that company that company has a couple of different problems well if I know that's the company that I want to work for I'm going to research and I'm going to do as much work as possible honing in and focusing on okay how do I let this company know that I'm the right fit for them and how do I articulate to them that hey I can solve that exact problem that they're having because depending on who your who is and you know uh, and their idea depending on who your who is they may have different you know different types of problems someone who's running say a brick and mortar business that's trying to do lead generation may be completely different from someone who is selling a physical product online so as you can see when I hone in and I know who my who is and I understand what their problem is then I can go ahead and speak to it and I can be in a position where I can help them just that much, um, you know, better. Sometimes I know one of the things that, you know, that I've had issues with in the past is sometimes I think that the market and or the problem isn't big enough. So long as that there's, so long as your target market, your who is already paying other individuals to solve that problem for them and they're paying you know, in amounts to solve their problem for them, at the end of the day, the market itself is big enough. So long as it's already been validated, meaning that you're not going into a brand new market and you're not trying to solve a brand new problem, this is a problem that already exists. And not only does the problem already exist, people in your marketplace, the ideal, the ideal client, um, has proven to pay for that problem to be able to solve their problem over and over again, I would say, you are on the right track. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to be like, okay, 
well, maybe this problem is not big enough. So, so long as they're already paying for it, then I would say that you are certainly on, um, you know, on the right track and or on the right path, right? Um, again, if you happen to be catching this video live, do me a favor, hit pound live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you happen to be catching this via the replay, do me a favor, hit pound replay and let me know where you are tuning in from. Client attraction at the end of the day, it's all about being able to understand that person's problem. If you can articulate to that person, you know, hey, person, hey, company, I know that this is the problem that you are having because I've spent a lot of time studying the problem. I understand that there's different avenues and or different paths to solving the problem based on the five and or six available avenues and path this is why this avenue and or this path is um you know is ideal this is why this avenue and this path will uh will allow you to save time and or save money when you can articulate that type of stuff to your prospective client it says to them that okay this person has done their homework it says to them that this person understands the marketplace enough to where they know that these are the available solutions that are out there and they know enough to be able to guide me accordingly. Because what happens at times is that your target market, they've already tried to solve the problem. And it's just it could just mean that they haven't tried your way and or your methodology. And I would caution you that if someone hasn't tried to, to solve the problem, then that person may not necessarily be your ideal who because they're not motivated and because there's not enough pain, right? The individual that's trying to, you know, solve the problem that's tried, let's just say that there's, I don't know, 10 viable, not viable, 10 possible solutions out in the marketplace. And let's just say they've tried five of them and the five, uh, the, the five solutions that they've tried, none of them have worked. Well, I think that person is, in my opinion, is a lot more ideal because they're swimming towards trying to find a, um, a solution. Um, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how, how you may want to look at this, I've had conversations with people, and you know what, I've been one of those individuals as well, that's done nothing to try to solve whatever problem that, you know, they have. Well, if you haven't done anything to try to solve your marketing problem, whatever problem that you have, then I believe that um, it's going to be just that much harder for you to be able to um, work with that person. And it's going to be just that much harder for you to give that person um, a solution. And I'm talking in the context, in the context of, um, of coaching and consulting. And the other context that I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, it's not that that person is overwhelmed because sometimes we don't do anything because we are overwhelmed. And I think that's a completely different situation. If you have a prospective client that's just overwhelmed because there's just so many different options out there and because of that overwhelm, they haven't necessarily taken any step. I think that in itself um, is a good thing because if you are, there are times I'm having conversations conversations with prospective clients and they use the word overwhelm. And when I dive in a little bit deeper, it's because that there's so many different options and they can list those different possible options. I think that's a very good thing, um, you know, as well. So at the end of the day, understand your who, understand where, what their problem is, even though this is something that seems um, very simple, <laughs> but it's profound, um, you know, oftentimes, I've um, I've danced around this, and and dancing around this is not necessarily cool, and dancing around this is not going to be in your best interest. So um, you know, I would say this is one of those things when you have it properly dialed in, can definitely make a difference in your um, in your marketing. Um, that's it. That's all I wanted to go ahead and share with you today. Pound live if you happen to be catching this video live. Pound replay if you happen to be catching the replay. That's all I have for you for now. I'll talk to you soon.